Yes, he was the first off as well, I seem to recall. <laughs> <laughs> then we had more trouble from the authorities with uh, the Harold Wilson Labour government declaring there should be no more illegal radio. I think we had 12 pirate stations by that time, and the Marine Offences Act dictated that you should go off air. What happened That's there? right. There, there'd been some talk of uh, a Marine Offences Act for some months, and uh, I think we all knew it was coming. And uh, eventually, when it did happen on the... 14th of August in 67, all of the stations closed down with the, the exception of us, and we stayed on the air. We had to move the operation from London to, to Amsterdam, but uh, apart from that, it was pretty much the same. Now, we've talked about the beaching. In 1980, the most serious problem of all, the boat sunk. Before we talk about that, there is indeed uh, a clip I think we should listen to. This is a Caroline Gale. We're sorry to tell you that due to the severe weather conditions and also to the fact that we're shoving quite a lot of water, we're closing down and the crew are at this stage leaving the ship. Now, obviously we hope to be back with you as soon as possible, but uh, we'd just like to assure you all on land that there's nothing to worry about. We're all quite safe. Just for the moment we'd like to say goodbye. It was very sad when the old ship sank because it was a lovely ship to work on and uh, I certainly spent some very happy years on board. Well, Andy, we could indeed talk for a lot longer than we can afford to talk about uh, Radio Caroline now. Thanks for coming in and giving us a brief insight into that, the life and times. We mentioned the Beatles, other great bands of that era, of course, the Stones, and a certain uh, band by the name of the Spencer Davis Group, who indeed are now back on the road touring in their Keep On Running comeback tour, and we caught up with them just a week ago.